Hello friends! So you may or may not have noticed that I haven't exactly been updating that frequently in the past week or two. It's because there's been a bit, bit of a backlog on my end. My uh, ability to upload has been a little bit impeded by some technical difficulties, but as a result, I've got a couple of entries for you. They're just going to kind of come rapid fire, probably, but I'm sure you won't mind. To somewhat make up for this backlog, I'm going to discuss two trips in this entry. Oh no, don't freak out. You can handle it. I'll keep it relatively quick because I have a lot of really great pictures from at least the first trip. And I'll explain why only that one. So I'll keep the actual talking relatively, you know, short, brief, so that you can just get on to enjoying the beauty that is Ireland. Which brings me to my first trip. Set up through the Gaelic department at UCC, they have this thing called Heritage Weekend, where you go to the Ring of Kerry, which, if you're unfamiliar, is one of the top tourist destinations in all of Ireland. It's also just one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. Not up for debate, it just is. You will see. The Ring of Kerry is breathtaking. And the majority of this trip consisted of... Um, stops around the Ring of Gary, which is essentially a route that you can drive, or if you're really ambitious, bike, but that seems ridiculous, um, around the, I'm gonna put the name here because I can't pronounce it, but it's a peninsula, so there are a lot of beautiful beaches and some mountains, and it's gorgeous. So a teacher went with us, uh, who is like, one of the main teachers, I guess, for the Gaelic department. I don't actually have any class in that department, so I don't really know, but that's the vibe I get from her. Her brother owns this hotel on the Ring of Kerry, and it's a nice hotel with really good food, and all you have to do is pay one fee up front, and, you know, your hotel, the sites, the food, and activities that we did at the hotel were all covered. Activities at the hotel included a table quiz. My team came in second, by the way. We don't miss round. Got some free Valencia slate out of it. And there was some um, talks, one by one from a farmer from Valencia Island and one from a Gaelic football player. And we also did some Kaylee dancing one night. I believe it was Kaylee dancing. Forgive me if I was if I've got the exact type of dancing down, but I'm pretty sure it was Kaylee dancing. And it was a lot of fun. Just group Irish dancing. A lot of fun. Very legit weekend. The following weekend, I also went on another organized trip. This time organized by Butler. It was Adventure Weekend. So we headed up to this adventure center in County Galway. And basically did all sorts of fun activities for a couple days. When I say Adventure Weekend, I'm not kidding around at all. By the end of that weekend, I could not move. As soon as we got there, the, you know... Two hours, three hours after we got there, not even. That's an exaggeration. Not even. I was out on a zip line up in like a kind of mountainous area by a lake, some zip lining, and I'm on a high ropes course, and it's crazy because I'm afraid of heights. So, what am I doing up there? I kind of got to conquer my fear a little bit in a beautiful setting. Basically, the way it worked was you got to pick. Uh, an activity that you wanted to do on the first day, two activities that you wanted to do on the second day, and one for the last day before we left. Uh, that night we had uh, another table quiz type thing. It was different though than on the Ring of Carry trip. Mm, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. The following day in the morning went tubing on what I'm sure is some region of the North Atlantic, so it was freezing. But it was really cool. Definitely really cool. I actually, I'm told, caught like six feet of air at one point on the tube and proceeded to smack my face into the tube very gracefully. That's probably why I was so sore the next day, come to think of it. Probably should have stopped. It's adventure weekend. You don't stop for anything. Later that day, same area, we went kayaking. And when the current's that strong and it's windy, let's just say I felt very weak in that kayak. It was difficult and also very cold. And then we went jumping off a cliff, and I'm sure that other people would consider it a kind of small cliff, but for me, jumping off a cliff was not even in my vocabulary a few months ago. So again, big accomplishment. And then we did this like gorge walk, which was kind of 
got a gorge and a river running through it, like a river or a, like, it's not really a stream, it's bigger than a stream, but it's not kind of a river, I don't know, but there were like waterfalls down it because there were all these like inclines that created these kind of gradual waterfalls and there were ropes up the waterfalls. So you climbed up the waterfalls and then through the gorge and the entire time you're going through this river type thing and it was, it was so cool. That night we had kind of like a dance thing and that was fun. By the time I got home the next day, I was white. I, I don't think I did anything that day at all. And I know that I had things to do. I was just completely mm. so sore. Adventure weekend is not a joke, you guys. But it was so much fun. There were a lot of those moments where I was just like, wow, I can't believe I am here. You know, conquering my fear of heights and tubing around the North Atlantic and jumping off cliffs and climbing up waterfalls. It was super cool. So, you know, that's definitely something I can endorse that Butler has set up for us here, and I'm really looking forward to the next Butler trip. Needless to say, there are not a lot of pictures from that weekend, for me anyway, just because I didn't want to bring my beloved lol Miko, Miko's my camera, didn't want to bring him out onto the water, that would have been sad, he wouldn't have liked that very much at all, no he wouldn't have, no you wouldn't have. I'm not crazy, I promise. Now's the part where I show you the pictures I did take. Enjoy! <laughs> It's now!